Hey Hi, this is Mukesh Otwani once again from learn-innovation.com. Today in this video, we'll talk about how you can create a jobs in Jenkins. So till now we have discussed how to download, install, configure Jenkins. So if you haven't seen that videos, I would highly recommend you to watch the series where we discussed all of this. Now we are going to create a new job and this job is a sample job just to show you how you can create a job, how you can execute the job. Once you move ahead, we will create a different type of jobs and different way to execute the same. So this video is going to be very basic, but yes, once your basics are clear, you can also uh, do this job configuration and running part in a different way. So there are two options. You can click on create a job or you can click on new item. The moment you click on create a job, you will be navigating to the same options. Or if you go back to new items, you will also get the same window. So again, we have a different type of jobs that you can create. Okay. So you can see we have freestyle project, we have pipeline, we have multi configuration project, folder, organization, GitHub organization and multi branch pipeline. So basically we will be focusing on the first one, which is freestyle pipeline, multi branch pipeline. And once you move ahead, we will also install one Maven plugin so that we can build Maven projects. Okay. So as of now, I will give this job as job one or demo one. It can be anything. So let me just give first Jenkins job. Now what exactly job in, Java, uh, in Jenkins is you can consider a set of tasks or activities that will perform a particular task. Okay. So it is just we are calling as a job, but this job can be any task that you want to perform. So as of now, I will click on freestyle project and I will click on OK. So it will create a job for us and it will ask some configurations. So let's configure this again. It's a basic configuration as of now. So once you move ahead, depends on your requirement, you can configure accordingly. So you can see we have multiple options. The first option is general settings. Then we have source code management. Okay. From where exactly want to have the code. Then we have build triggers. How do you want to trigger the build? Then the build environments. Most important part build. In the build section, it will tell you exactly what you need to build. And finally, the post build action. Once your post, once your build is done, what exactly you want to perform. So let's see one by one. So in the general one, as the name say, you can give the description of this job. So I will just give a dummy description that this job is just a sample job. But you can give any description. Again, you can also give HTML tags here. Okay. Again, you have some options here that we will discuss later. As of now, let's come to source code management, which is, do you want to get any code from, you know, SCM? So you can use GitHub, GitLab, and you can just give the repository URL and it will take this code from that particular SCM. Now build trigger, how do you want to run this build? Okay. So you can trigger this build uh, remotely. You can also build this after other projects are built. You can also build this periodically using, you know, cron pattern, polar sim and so on. And these are some build environments. As of now, the main part is what exactly we want to build. So as of now, I just want to select some windows batch command, but if you're working with let's say Mac or Linux or Unix, you will be selecting shell. The first command that I want to run is echo. Okay. I just want to say whether this our first Jenkins job is working fine or not. So I will just say echo and uh, maybe we can do one thing. We can print Java version because in the last video we have configured Java, right? So I will just say Java space hyphen version. If I'm able to get this Java version, it means Jenkins is working fine. Let me add another build step. This is another build step, which I will say MV hyphen version, which basic basically should give me the Maven version. And post build action, what exactly you want to do once you're done with this, you know, build. So we will be doing this editable email notification, build other projects and so on. As of now, just give these commands and let's save this. So once your job is done, as you can see, this is your job team. And uh, this job is basically a simple job. Now you can click on this option, which is build now, the moment you build. You can see now I can click on this icon or I can click on this candy icon. It's totally up to you. Both will redirect you the same. So basically it is navigating to the console. So the first one is Java space hyphen version. Okay. 
and space mvn space hyphen version so basically this is my java version which i'm getting and this is i'm getting maven version it means i'm able to run my jenkins job jenkins is working fine now this is your default view as you can see this is your all view where you have the status of the build then you have the weather name last success failure duration and again this build option so you can click on this and it will again start running a jenkins job okay you can see again it executed if i go to dashboard again it executed now in your case you might not get this symbol you get this symbol in blue color i will show you how you can get in green color okay i just installed a plugin called green ball plugins in the upcoming session that also we will see now suppose you want to create your own view how you can do that okay so suppose i don't want this weather information i don't want this you know build option directly here so i can customize this as you can see i have this option right i can create my own view i will say let's silly name i'm just giving one view name i will click on list view and now i can select which column which i want in this view okay so basically i don't want this weather information i don't want this build button now I, i just want to click on apply and okay so you can see i have now new view so by default it was all view now i have created another view and i can add existing jobs here so as you can see this is the job that we created if i select this particular job if i click on apply and okay i can see i have another view in this view and this view what is the difference in this view i have this weather information and in this view i don't have so i can customize this view i can have n number of views i can also change what should be the default views and so on so that's how you can create a first jenkins job just go to the build and give whatever steps you want to perform that's all now you must be wondering why we are just printing java version maven version so guys this is just for testing purpose just to make sure that everything is working fine in real time we will be building our maven builds right so we'll pull the code from github and we will run about maven build that maven build will run our test and utility xml files and that xml files will run our automated test cases it can be selenium test api test mobile test or any other kind of test so once we move it you will understand the real use cases this is just a first jenkins job that we have created just to make sure that everything is working fine and you are able to run your build so that's all for this video guys in case if you're new to this channel then make sure you subscribe this channel share with your friends and i will see you in the next video have a nice day bye bye